This video is not made for kids, it's for older fans and adults, so fuck off and enjoy the video! Charlie's Careful Day. It was a beautiful morning at Netflix Yards, and Charlie had just arrived to start work. Billy was there waiting. Hello, Charlie. Have you come to spend the day with me? Actually, I'm here to shun the drugs for a very long goods train that Murdoch is pulling. Please, Charlie. I'm sure someone else can do your job while you're spending time with me, considering we're both the same shape. All right, Billy. I like the sound of that. But we shouldn't take long if I leave the yards. Don't worry about how long we'll take. Let's go! Hey, wait for me, Billy. As soon as they left the hunting yard, an idea flew into Billy's funnel. Let's go look for some other engines that have the same colour as us. Good idea, Billy. There aren't that many engines on the island that are either purple or orange, and I can tell some jokes along the way. Alright, hey, Johnny. You can tell me some good jokes while we're at it. First, Billy and Charlie came to Arsborough Harbour, where they saw Ryan waiting at a junction. Ryan was surprised to see them. Hello there, you two. What brings you here to Arsborough? Hello Ryan, we're going on an errand looking for engines that have the same colour as us. Hang on there Billy, Ryan's purple like me. That's right Charlie, we're both the same colour, isn't that a coincidence? I know, <laughs> I've got a joke for you. What do you get if you cross a plum with a man-eating monster? Um, uh, I don't know Charlie. A purple people eater! <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious, Charlie! <laughs> I know, Ryan! Come on, Billy, let's get moving to our next destination. Okay, Charlie, see you later, Ryan! Bye, you two! As Billy and Charlie left the harbour, they were deciding where to go next. Where to next, Billy? I was thinking we should go to the wharf. I remember seeing a small orange diesel engine, but I kind of forgot what his name was. Don't worry, Billy. We can find this small little diesel. This diesel needs to give us its name, though. When Billy and Charlie arrived at the wharf, the narrow gauge engines were very busy. Just then, Rusty pulled into view. Hello, you two. Have you come to collect some supplies for the wharf? We're looking for someone who's... Hey, you're that small little orange diesel Billy was talking about. That's right, I'm Rusty, the little diesel engine. Oh yeah, now I remember your name. My memory must have faded from my smoke box. It's alright Billy, at least you remembered me now. And I can see that this purple engine's name is Charlie by reading the nameplates. That's right Rusty, I've got a joke for you. Why are oranges so observant? Hmm, I don't know, Charlie. Because they're full of vitamins! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's funny. laughs> Stop laughing, Rusty. Get those wheels wearing. Oh, sorry, Reneus. I just can't stop laughing at Charlie's jokes. They're hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I think that's enough laughing, Charlie. Come on, let's go elsewhere. All right. See you later, Rusty. Bye, you two. Bye-bye. Back at the shunting yards, Thomas, Percy and Mia were surprised to see that Murdoch's goods train wasn't ready. Bust my buffers! The shunting yard is all in a mess! Wasn't Charlie supposed to be shunting these trucks for Murdoch to collect? I think so, Percy, but I don't see Charlie anywhere. Nia, could you go back and look for Charlie and bring him back to the yards? Will do, Thomas. <laughs> Meanwhile, Billy and Charlie pulled into Kirk Mucken, where the Coldy Bell engines were waiting. Well, Charlie, all of those small engines are purple, just like you. That's right, Billy. This isn't my first time seeing Coldy Fell engines, as I've seen them before as I helped Thomas bring supplies to take to his passengers. Hello again, Charlie. I haven't seen you for ages. You know, Coldy, wanna hear another mountain joke? Not this again. Why can't you play hide and seek with mountains? We don't know, Charlie. Why don't you play hide and seek in the mountains? Because they're always peeking! <laughs> <laughs> Your jokes always make us laugh, Charlie. That's right, Coldy. I'm the best jokester Sodor has ever heard of. Looks like you're having a very cheerful day, Charlie. I sure am, Billy. Although I think it's about time we go back to the yards to shop Murdoch's goods train. <gasps> we were so busy on our minds that we forgot to go back to the yards ages ago. Murdoch's going to be really cross when he finds out that his train isn't ready. Wait for me, Charlie! I guess they weren't bothered saying goodbye to us, Mountain Engines. It's alright, Godred. Maybe they were in a bit of a hurry, which explains why. As soon as they left Kirk Macken, Charlie raced like the wind to get back to the shunting yard, while Billy followed far behind. We've got to get back there before Murdoch arrives! And then there was trouble. Oh no! I've run out of coal! I'm sorry, Charlie. I shouldn't have thought going out on an errand was such a good idea. Who's going to help us get back to the yards if we're stuck? Murdoch won't appreciate it if his train isn't ready. Meanwhile, Mia went to the island looking for Charlie. She popped into Arsborough to ask Ryan if he had seen Charlie anywhere. Hello, Mia. What brings you here in Arsborough? Have you come to help with the extra goods? Actually, I'm looking for Charlie. Have you seen him by any chance? Yes, I have. I did see Charlie earlier. He was spending the day with Billy, looking for other engines with the same colours as us. Well, I am orange like Billy, and you're purple like Charlie. Maybe we can go together and look for those engines. Good idea, Leah. I've just finished the goods traffic for the day, so I'll be happy to help you out. Thanks, Ryan. And so, Ryan joined Nia on her search for Charlie and Billy. But everywhere they went, they couldn't find other engines with the same colours as them. Can you see any engines with our colours? I can't. Most of the Sodor engines have primary colours that aren't orange or purple. They've got to be somewhere. We have to keep looking. It wasn't long until they spotted Billy and Charlie up ahead looking rather foolish. Billy, Charlie, thank goodness we found you two. Nia, Ryan, we're certainly glad to see you. Can you please help us get back to the shunting yards? On one condition, if you don't go exploring the island again, looking for engines that have our colors. I've told Ryan the whole story, and the fat controller is going to be disappointed with you, Charlie since you're not working at the yards like you were told to. Charlie felt silly. Soon, Charlie and Billy were shunted back to the yards to get Murdoch's train ready. 
They even refilled their bunkers with coal upon arriving. Soon the goods train was complete, just as Murdoch arrived at the yard. Hello everyone, I've come to pick up my chocks for Brendan. We just finished arranging it, Murdoch. Don't forget to break, man! I must say, you two are both very quick shunters. Billy helps me get it all done. If it wasn't for his help, then your train would never be ready on time. Is that right? Well, the Fat Controller will be very pleased to hear this news. As soon as Murdoch was coupled to his good train, he passed slowly away to render blocks. Billy walked up close to Charlie. Thanks for taking me out today, Billy. It was fun spotting engines with our colours. The pleasure's all mine, Charlie. Now let's get to work shunting. I'm right beside you. <laughs> <laughs>